Good morning. Welcome to Three Minutes on Markets and Money. Here's some stocks that we're watching today. It's earnings season, of course, and these are companies that are either reporting earnings before or after the bell today. Uh, let's start with Yeti, of course. This is the competitor to the old Igloo. Um, of course, if you've ever been to the store to buy a Yeti mug, you pay through the nose for it. So not surprising, stock has been doing very well. Earnings this morning expected to be fairly strong. Stock has been rally, really kind of rallying into earnings. The potential risk here for Yeti Yeti, of course, is a slowdown in sales as we get through the summer and into the winter. A potential negative for Yeti would be weaker guidance through the end of the year, so watch for that in their earnings announcement. Shake Shack is another animal here, of course, with in the restaurant industry has been under a lot of pressure. Not really surprising here because of both what's happening with COVID, the shutdown of, of the economy, etc. Uh, stock's been under a lot of pressure here, breaking below the 50, the 20, and the 200-day moving average. On a sell signal now, not really a good look here for the stock. So I'd be wary about either owning the stock or even trying to look to bottom pick this stock right now. Leave this alone until the formation actually starts to sh uh, show up here a little bit better and we get a better kind of technical trend in the markets. Moving on to the green energy space, one of the interesting uh, things that have occurred, of course, in the whole meme stock space last year, one of the big winners was Plug Power. And this was really a, a, a play on this whole green energy move in the economy, uh, electric vehicles, versions of electric vehicles, and all the things that went along with it. Of course, after that meme stock uh, explosion kind of occurred, and those meme stock investors kind of moved on to other pastures, has been really no interest in Plug Power here for the last several months still continues to look that way even after a strong buy signal money flows remain negative the stock is on a very negative trend at this point absolutely no reason to be long the stock I don't even think earnings are going to help this stock today even if they report good earnings uh, so again uh, another avoid stock here at this point and potentially a very good short play on a break of these lower levels of support SeaWorld, uh, of course, announces earnings today, and this has been a stock that's been under a good bit of pressure here as of late. Earnings are not going to really help the company very much here at this point. Again, this is kind of one of those, uh, again, the you know economic recovery stories. A very big run earlier this year on expectations of economic reopening and everything's going to go back to normal. Ever since then, the stock has really peaked here. Not a lot of interest. Stock is hovering above the 200-day moving average. Very negative on money flows. Just triggered to money flow sell signal um, and there's a real risk here that this stock could break the 200 day moving average and look to retrace back to previous lows around $25 a share. So again, this is another stock to avoid potentially a break of the 200 day moving average actually makes this a candidate better for shorting than actually owning long. Richard Branson taking a rocket into space. Of course, Virgin Galactic also had a very big run up heading into that historic space flight by the first billionaire into outer space. Ever since then, the stock has dropped markedly We're here back to the 200-day moving average. It is holding support here, but the fundamentals really are not great for this company. Uh, again, you know, this whole idea of, of ejecting civilians into outer space is something that may come eventually, but is not going to be a real viable, profitable business here in the short term. Again, stocks had a very good run here. Money flows are very negative. Be cautious here. A break of this 200-day moving average is going to send the stock back towards its lows around $12 a share. Again, there's a lot of meme stock interest in this, and it gets particularly these, these kind of spurts in activity as it kind of gains or garners this meme stock attention from Wall Street Reddit investors. But right now, not a lot going on. So again, if you own the stock long here, you can hold it with a very close stop here. I mean, you've got to stop at $30 a share, the break of the 200-day moving average um, potentially, but not a lot of upside here either. You've got a lot of downward resistance as the 20-day has crossed below the 50-day moving average and again is heading lower at this point. If you're not in the stock, this is something I wouldn't look at investing in right now. Viacom. Viacom, another meme stock as well in the communication space, has not been doing well here lately, has broken all of its major moving averages, looking to move lower on the downside, about to trigger a sell signal. Um, basically, this has uh, been a stock that throws off a dividend, has very low volatility, doesn't do a whole lot. But again, after this big spike up that it had when the meme stock traders got a hold of it, from 90 back down here to $40 a share, now potentially looking to break and go lower towards 30. So again, just something you may want 
want to avoid near term. But again, it's something that it's, it has not a lot of upside potential here either, even though it's a dividend, it has a high dividend yield on it, not particularly a stock worth holding. Last but not least is Kellogg's, of course, in the staple space. Prices are rising. That's impacting profit margins, of course. And as companies look forward on earnings expectations, et cetera, higher inflationary prices are getting passed through to the consumers. Higher inflation is impacting profits. Staple companies in general have been under pressure as of late. Kellogg's breaking very important support at the 200-day moving average. Currently has support coming right here at $62 a share. Very deep oversold signal. Money flows are very negative. But watch this support here. A break of 62 is going to potentially suggest we're going to see lower prices and Kellogg's down into the mid 50s. So if you're long the stock right now, be wary of these current support levels because again, if we do break this current level of support, there's not a lot of support until you get to uh, much lower levels and prices. Again, throws off a nice dividend yield, but again, prices can eat up a lot of that yield very quickly. So pay attention to the risk in your portfolio. I'm Real Science Roberts for three minutes on markets and money and stocks that we're watching today. See you tomorrow.